Hello, this is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS, and today I want to show how to key in from the keypad a repeater frequency and tone to and connect to a local repeater and save it in memory in this device. Many people use the software, but what if you don't have access to the software and you want to put in and save a repeater, you're on a trip. So this is the BTEC UV-5X3. It's a tri-bander, very affordable for new hands to get access to. Part of the challenge for a less expensive radio is it's a few more steps to be able to program it and save it in memory. Remember, repeaters are generally identified by the frequency that they transmit on. They're on a much higher tower within range of this radio, otherwise I can't connect to them. Then they'll display what's called the offset, and that is how far from this frequency you need to go to come up with the transmit frequency for the radio, and that is the frequency that the repeater 145210 will be listening on, and if it hears anything on that, it will rebroadcast if it also hears a tone of 82.5. This is called a sub-audible tone. This will be transmitted along with the frequency I transmit. And in this particular radio, we have to calculate what is the exact frequency. We don't just put in the offset to save it in memory. If the offset is minus 0.6 megahertz from 145210, then 145210 minus 0.6 gives us 144.610. And we're going to enter in both of those and the tone and then show how it works. So let's go back to the radio and you have to learn a few things. One, it needs to be on the top line. See how AB switches this little AB bottom and top? It must be on the top line. Second, you need to be in VFO mode. And if you press the orange button, it will toggle between the memory mode or channel mode and VFO mode. So listen. Channel mode. Frequency mode. So frequency mode is the same as what the button shows as VFO mode. And channel mode is, it says slash MR. So channel mode for the button is MR. So listen again. Channel mode. Frequency mode. So we want to start in frequency mode. So we'll now enter our first frequency which is how we identify this repeater. One, one four, four, five, two, two one, one zero. zero. Okay? Now after that, everything works out of the menu and the exit button, up and down arrows, or numbers going to particular menu items by entering the number in the keypad. And then I'll hit menu, menu. and I need to go to where it allows you to save something in memory, which I happen to know is 27. If you didn't know that, you could use the up and down keys until you get to it. We know we're there because it says memory CH. Then you'll see it says memory location CH005. That means that memory location's already taken, so we want to hit menu a second time. Menu. And if you don't move fast enough, it pops out. So menu, hit menu a second time. Memory. And notice it goes to the lower line. See the lower line? Now I can use up and down arrows, and I'm going to look for an empty memory location. You can't put something into a channel that already has something. You have to delete that memory first. So let's go ahead and click memory again. Listen. Receiving memory. So now 006 is no longer empty. It has the word CH. So now it has put something in, and it said an important word. It said receiving memory. That means that is the frequency that this transceiver is going to receive on, and that's what we want because that's what the repeater is transmitting on, 145210. Now, what do we need to do next? Go here. Now what we want to do is enter the transmit frequency, which is 144.610. One, four, four, six, one, zero. Zero. Okay, and what is that? That's the frequency we want to transmit on. The next question is, is there a tone on this repeater? When you look up in the repeater guide, 
you'll see if there's a tone. And there is a tone, and it's 82.5. Now we want to go in and enter the tone, because what we want to do is save this frequency with the tone into our memory location. So we'll hit menu. Menu. And you go to 13 in the menu system to enter the tone. And I hit menu again. Notice how menu now goes to the lower line. See how it goes? To, and then I need to go up and down until I see what number? 82. Remember, 82. 82.5. There it is. That's the tone. Press menu again, and it sets it. Listen. Confirm. See, that confirmed the menu. Then we can hit exit. Go in and check menu. it. See that? That's the, the tone. Now, what we want to do is we want to save this frequency. It will grab that tone into the same memory location we put the receiving frequency, or that is the repeater's transmitting frequency. Now we want to go back into the memory. Menu. And see how it says memory channel 006? We we'll want to click again. Memory channel. Okay, that's the memory. And now listen when I press menu a second time. Transmitting memory. That's the transmitting memory. Now we've put in the receiving frequency and the transmitting frequency along with the tone. Now let's test it and see what happens. So we don't want to test it here. We want to go over to here and go to 6. So here it said 6. So there's our location. And then we want to click transmit. And if we're within range of the repeater, it should transmit. KI-4 CFS monitoring. There it goes. We did it. We got it to transmit. That means I opened the repeater. It's working. It's saved into memory. One more thing to demonstrate is in menu. Let's say 5. I go, well, I already have it in 5. I want to erase that one. So if we want to erase something in memory, because you have to actually have a blank memory location to be able to use it. Click menu, menu. and go to 28, and that's delete a channel. So delete what? channel. So if I get into menu. there we go, delete channel, hit menu again. I don't want to do that. I want to delete channel 5. So I get to 5. There we are. Now watch what happens when I click this. It now deleted what is in 5. So let's click Exit to leave. And then remember, Menu and Exit are the tools. If you ever get lost and just want to get out, hit Exit, and then it won't save anything. So the way you save is go into uh, a item on the menu, click it again, go to the line, change the variable, menu. and uh, then you hit it a Delete second channel. time, Confirm. and then it will save it or act on it or whatever you need. The last thing I want to show you is how to set the squelch on this because there's no knob. It's all in the menu. Menu, menu. zero happens to be squelch. How do we change that? Squelch. Click this. Now watch what happens when I lower squelch to one or zero. Watch when I leave it. It's going to get noisy. Now squelch is wide open. So there's no, nothing to stay in. So let's go back. Put it up to 102. Depends how busy your area is, and that sets the squelch for the radio. So understanding that's pretty important on squelch. This completes this tutorial on how to save a repeater frequency into the BTEC UV-5X3 with a tone. I want to thank Jim KC9HI because I couldn't have put all this together without his help. This completes this demonstration of the BTEC UV-5X3. If you know of other resources, put them below. Please click subscribe and the bell so you'll get other videos. Again, I want to thank Jim, KC9HI. Couldn't have worked this out without his help. And I have a list of text instructions that complements this you'll find in the text below. This is Martin Bossman, KF4CFS, clear.